Hey everyone, today's tutorial is about when you have a shimmyji of them on your laptop. Basically, for the people who don't know that, or these, I mean, um, they're basically just little cute drawings. You know that those little drawings that move around your your screen on the laptop or computer or whatever, like they're just like little toys or just characters, and they just keep moving around your screen. And they're just literally so cute. So you can look it up for you if you can understand from me. Yeah. So please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Kigo Takami. Literally finding it just boosts his ego. He's a bastard. He was using your laptop because he was too lazy to go get his from his agency because he forgot it. So he just song to us and was like, all right, this is mine for the time being. Opens up your laptop and sees a little Betty him walking around, stealing stuff off the documents you were working on. He just sits and stares for a second before a fat grin spreads across his face. Baby. His smirk is obvious in his words and he doesn't even try to stop it. Hmm? You call out. You're in the bathroom. Right now, doing the good. Of face care. What's this on your screen? Is it me? You slam open the door. On the bathroom and stare at home. Your face wash was still half on your face. And water dripped off your cheeks. His golden eyes stare at yours. He smells still white and taunting. Shut up. Don't talk about it. We'll move on. You move towards your laptop, but before you reach it, he lifts it up with a few of his feathers. Just out of your reach. Oh, come on, baby girl. Do you really miss me that much when I'm gone? This little bastard. No, no, Kigo. Please. Dear God, don't bully me like this. You reach for the laptop again. But... He smiles as wide as he possibly could. Ow, you just missed me. He fake pouted and teased you. I swear to God, I might break this man's skull. If I was his girlfriend, of course. Pro hero, Midoriya. Poor boy had a heart attack. Like, literally has only seen like two things cuter than this shimmy of them. The other two things are you and Eri, by the way. Literally opened your laptop to print off a paper. And the first thing he sees is a little version of him in his hero suit doing the plus ultra. Full ass could cry right now. He's sitting at the kitchen table and you walk in to your grown ass husband crying over your laptop like when you would cry at the dinner table. Over math problems. Like, uh, Izuku, are you okay? He turned to you, all snotty, nosed, and smiling. And he'll be like, This is so cute. You're just like, This. This is what you're crying over? My full grown husband is sitting at our dinner table. Broke. He's no cry stick. And for what? For what? God, but he's so cute. And you just sat next to him. And I'm just like, I'm literally in love with you. You just kind of have to pat his back or his head while he blabbers on. This is so cute. And it's me too. Why, well, you're so cute. And I love you. Ends in a cuddle session. Never even prints the paper. Pro hero Katsuki, cocky, literally, finds it annoying at first. We'll bully you for it, by the way. You left your laptop open on the dinner table and he came home from his agency. It's not his fault, damn. You left it open. He didn't open it. He didn't even touch it. No, he just saw it like when he was walking. So it's your fault. 
He just came back home from his agency and just wanders over. Probably grumbling that you were wasting the battery or some shit. But then, he sees a little figure in his costume start making little explosions on your computer screen. Vulas has to poke it to see if it's real or just on your laptop. He's like a dumbass. Like, no way. How can it be real? Calls you in from the bedroom and you're like, Hey, bitch, welcome back. And he's like, Dumbass, what the heck is this? Is this me? You just smile at him and nod. He can see the stars in your eyes right now. He just glares at you. And for about a minute, you stand in the kitchen and he stares at you. And you smile so widely at him. Damn, he's going blind. <sighs> Bruh. That's it? So? You ask him. Literally, what does he want? And he just turns around. And it's just like... Yeah, I'll turn around so you can see my red face. Whatever. And that's that. You ask him if he wants you to take it off. Of course, it meant to be cute. But you don't want to invade him in any way. No, keep it. Whatever. He rolls it off. His ears pink. And you know what? You just keep it. In fact, you find one that has him. Animate that fit as well. Do you change it to that? Uh, we'll talk about that later. Thank you guys for listening. I know this was kind of short, like shorter than the other videos, but like it's not still it's still not a short. I'm very sorry. Yeah, I don't know what to do. You know, this last like uh, the last minute of the video, I don't really know what to say because I I've already read the story so. Do I have to put a script? Because I'm very bad at, you know, creating conversations and stuff. Yeah. Um, so I had this lesson today. Like, I, I didn't really have it. It was canceled, but I was so anxious before it because I didn't do the homework. I did not do the homework, and I don't like this class. I hate this class very much. And I feel like I'm wasting it because I keep... I keep reading, reading the same lesson over and over after I finish this class. It's like I understood nothing from it. Or maybe I'm just forgetting. Maybe I just have a bad memory. That's probably it. But yeah. Feels like I'm wasting your time, so... Gotta say, thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.